Welcome back. In this section, we are going to learn about responsive design, why it is essential in modern web design, and how to implement it using Zurb Foundation. The first step is to define some breakpoints for our pages. Basically, we want to identify the different widths at which we need to make some changes in order to make our site adapt to smaller devices. That's not an easy task. In fact, smartphone screens are really variegated and we usually have to consider some opinionated median approximation. With the advent of tablets, wearables, huge screen and the continuing changes in their resolutions, I think the best thing to do is to rely on good standards and also be sure that our design works well at the critical sizes near the breakpoints. To define those breakpoints, we need to rely on CSS media queries that fundamentally consists on the possibility to declare some conditional CSS depending on the screen's actual status. By default, Foundation comes with five media queries small, medium, large, x-large and xx-large. For each of them, we can choose between the up or the only version. For example, medium up will apply to all screen sizes equal or bigger than medium, while medium only will apply only to the medium range. But let's try this out to make it clearer. Firstly, let's open our index file and be sure to have the grant task running in the background. Now erase everything but the first div that contains the title. Now change Welcome to Foundation with the Welcome to Foundography and add an ID to the containing H1 element. Now assume that we want to invert the colors of the website on mobile and have a dark background with light text. Let's open the app SCSS file and define our small only media query. Here we want to change the entire body background and the welcome text color. Now save the file and open index.html on the browser. Here you can see our stylish welcome text, black on white. As you can see, on mobile our website has a dark background and a light text. Cool, right? In this video we learned about media queries. We can consider them as a low-level tool for responsive design. In fact, a lot of foundations features and components are abstracted over media queries but we still are going to use them a bit in order to keep the presentation layer separated from the semantic one. In the next video we'll talk about the grid system, which is the most useful tool to make our site responsive.